Hi, welcome. I'm Kathy Riley. I am the senior director and founder of Fact Academy Dog Trainer School. And we have a really new and exciting program that we are trying to get on the ground and release. Scientists are telling us these days that our dogs have the mental and emotional capacities of two-year-old children. So basically our dogs can think and feel and reason the same that two-year-old children do. So most dog trainers are taking this information and they're saying, you know, we should start applying the techniques that we have for working with our children and, and applying them to dogs. Well, we here at Fact Academy are gonna do just the opposite. We've decided why not take tried and true methods that we know work on dogs and use them on our children. So we've come up with uh, two, two new products that we're really excited about. Uh, we call them kitty collars. We're gonna go out and see if we can field test them with some parents. So come with us. Can we talk to you? My name's Kathy, I'm a dog trainer, but we have an idea for a new product for parents. Just wondered if we could get your opinion on it. Okay. The more scientists study dogs, we realize that dogs can think and feel and, and reason very much like our two-year-old children. They have the same emotions and the same reasoning capacity. So we decided as dog trainers that maybe we should market a product similar to the ones that we use in dog training that we know work on dogs. Uh, methods that we know that work for dogs and try them on children. Sure. So the first one we have, and this is perfect because you have all girls, this is called the Daisy Buzzer. The baby buzzer. All right, and it's all cute decorated for girls. It's made like a cute little Daisy, you know, um, choker necklace, right? So we call this the baby buzzer. Oh, you got another boy. Oh, oh, it's a girl. Her name is Ryan. Oh my goodness, great. So maybe we can try this on her. So if you have a toddler that's maybe having a tantrum in Target, what this would really be good for is if, say, your son or your daughter is having a temper tantrum in like Target, with the remote, you can press the button and get a proper you know, stimulation on the baby. Maybe you'll stop instantly, because we know it works with dogs. It stops dogs from barking and lunging. You can press the just the right stimulation on the child, and the behavior should stop instantly. I mean, the tantrum should stop instant, instantly. We know that from working with dogs. Like it'll sting the child? Yeah, yeah. So what are your thoughts on this? Would you put this on your child? Probably not. <laughs> Would you be willing to let us try this on one of the kids? Um, that, I couldn't say. I um, think that's a bit much. Can we try it on your? No way. <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> why, why not? I just don't have the heart for it. Right. <laughs> um, seems, seems a little archaic, barbaric. <laughs> Call this the toddler tether. Yeah. See? So we can put this around the toddler's neck. And these are our patented mommy fingers, we call them. And so they would just give a little bit of pressure, just kind of like if you were squeezing the child's neck. No, no, would you, would no. you try this? Okay, but we also have what we call the toddler tether. Okay, so this would be like if you were at the zoo, right? And your child was maybe starting to climb the monkey cage. So what do you think about putting this on one of the kids? Yeah, I'm not a fan of those either. <laughs> yeah. Would you try this? No. No. No way. No. We're sorry. It looks, looks dangerous, violent. Yeah. What are you worried about? It might hurt her. You're worried it might hurt her. But if it stops the temper tantrum, um, isn't that worth it? Nope. And it's not really supposed to hurt unless, you know, the stubborn children, you do have to turn it up a bit for stubborn children, but you know, it's... I can't, I can't tell, is this, a, is this for real? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We would never put these on children. <laughs> you just... Oh my, oh my God. Do some people say yes, they put it on their kids? I believe that tantrums, if he's having one, he just needs to like get it out. And I feel like if you stop it, he still has those emotions in it. <laughs> What you just said is exactly the same true for your dogs. Well, so we don't, and we don't have one on our dog. Yeah. And we have friends who've said like, oh, why don't you? And I'm like. Since we now know that dogs think and feel and have the emotions and the reasoning capacity of two-year-old children, would you would you put this on your dog? I don't think I would. Okay. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> no. All right. 